Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little side-by-side -side comparison here. Uh, the uh, LG G3 here versus the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, I think this is a pretty interesting because both these are pretty, pretty nice phones. Uh, but I especially enjoy the brand new G3, which is... Uh, definitely a step up I would say overall from the uh, the Galaxy S5 here in, in so many ways so so many ways so um, let's take a quick little look at it over here uh, and the first thing the first main thing here is the build quality this one you screams quality okay uh, and the key thing why it does it because it has like a finish on its plastic back that kind of feels premium and it really gives uh, a nice, 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 nice premium feeling overall. You can see how shiny it looks. It also has a very, very nice shape to it overall. And you can see this little kind of like metal thing or whatever. It just feels good to hold, you know. And uh, comparing it here to the S5, uh, the Galaxy S5 comes in a plastic back and it really really feels like plastic some kind of dotted back that I really really hate it doesn't really look like quality uh, and doesn't like feel like something expensive and especially the sides uh, on the Galaxy S5 really really feels uh, cheap I mean super 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 cheap plastic and yeah it really feels a little bit like a plastic toy. Even the button, which is a little bit lower down now in the S5 compared to other devices, doesn't feel as good, I would say. And also you have one of these flaps that you have to open and close. And you can see, uh, actually mine got destroyed after used to using the device for a little bit over two months. Even though I'm a reviewer, I might use it a little bit more heavier, but still. It shouldn't just break like that. It's really not good at all. This one just feels with no button up here. There's no button and that basically means that it feels very, very quality with just a slim front side. And the buttons that is here on the back because that's the thing with the LG G3 uh, that it comes only with the three buttons here on the back. They really is, and that's definitely a unique design, but they really, really feel like quality and I really, really enjoy it. Uh, because when you hold your hand like this, uh, you will usually rest it here on the back and it just feels super, super quality. And, uh, you know, I know it sounds maybe like I favorite this one on top of the S5. I, I definitely am because that's just the truth of how I feel about this. Uh, the buttons here, though, this is a pretty nice layout also, volume up and down keys. Uh, but that design there on this one is really, really outstanding and it really, really stands out compared to other phones on the market. And uh, that's definitely a nice little thing there. Uh, so if we move on here, uh, some other things here, uh, that's actually better with the S5. And that is some of the key features where we might want to pick up this one instead is that it's dust and water resistant. Uh, so it will be handling that very very well. Uh, I've been doing multiple Coca-Cola tests, water tests and stuff like that on the S5 and it's still alive so very very impressive there and uh, that IP67 certification is not something that you will get uh, on the... Uh, oh, it's a little bit wet here. I'm not sure why though. Uh, but this IP67 certification that you do get here on this one, you're not going to get that on the G3 so I wouldn't recommend it that you put the G3 inside of water that's gonna be bad maybe they could do that in the future I really think they could pull off something like that because both Sony uh, Sony as well as having a waterproof phone so I really hope that the LG can do that next year uh, you have oh, and then also of course you have a fingerprint reader here on the front side actually uh, on the S5 uh, which I've been taking a look at in some videos you can unlock by holding your thumb down over here and or swiping down which is also a unique feature uh, in terms of displays here I probably will be doing more videos on this uh, but we do have a insane uh, QH display here on uh, the um, 
on the G3 and that really really makes a difference uh, when you're viewing things in real life when you're seeing the display in real life and looking at pictures I've been actually seeing a big difference with my eyes uh, I just love this display I just love the pixels uh, the pixel density on all of that and I might do specific videos on that because just it's just very hard then also to see through a video uh, the, the pixel difference uh, but I definitely might consider doing that in the future uh, in a video uh, other in, in terms of displays I mean AMOLED display here on this one uh, is better in terms of black colors this one is a little bit more ne neutral um, it uh, doesn't uh, the colors doesn't stand out as much but uh, yeah it looks a little bit more natural probably and that's something that I do enjoy I really enjoy both displays and uh, definitely let me know, you know, if you want to see movies or whatever uh, on those devices and uh, I definitely might consider it. Uh, for the normal user, I mean, it's obviously not going to be a major difference in the display department, but if you really, really are into a lot of pixels and all of those good things, it's really going to be a cool, cool little experience there. 5.5 .5 inch display here, Quad HD display, 144x2560 resolution, that's the same as my iMac 27 inch versus a S AMOLED, Super AMOLED, 1080p display here, 5.1 inch, so definitely smaller here on this one. But then again, remember that this one also has on-screen keys, so it's a little bit smaller than 5.5 inch. The cool thing though is that in a lot of apps, you can actually remove these keys uh, down there at the bottom, so that's definitely a, a cool little thing. Uh, in terms of uh, cameras here, uh, we do actually have um, uh, some, some pretty, pretty nice stuff. Uh, we do have a, a, a 30 megapixel camera here, uh, but it's uh, like lasers and stuff because it has this little thing here at the bottom back so we can focus super, super, super quick, uh, which is something that I definitely do enjoy a ton. Uh, it's just insanely fast and I definitely want to do some videos on that because it's just gorgeous how, how amazing it is. And it like auto detects like what it wants to focus on and everything. It's just, it's just a awesome experience. This one has a little bit higher. It's a 60 megapixel camera instead of a 30 megapixel camera, but focus is not as fast. But it's still fast, of course, because it's a high-end device. Of course, you have a ton of different modes on both these two devices as well. Uh, that I might consider in another video. It's just an overall video. Both have Snapdragon 801 as well chipset and the uh, same kind of processor clock speed 2.5 GHz, quad core Crate 400, Adreno 330 GPU. So, gaming experience and overall experience should be very, very the same. Of course, you have the LG skin here versus the Samsung's own TouchWiz skin here, uh, which is a little bit of a difference. Uh, you have 3000 milliamp inside of the G3. It's a little bit bigger phone, so they can stuff in a little bit bigger battery compared to the 2800 milliamp here that you do get on the Galaxy S5. If you ask me personally, uh, I mean, I'm gonna do some gaming videos, probably some benchmark videos, maybe some more in depth like browser videos and things like that uh, with the, uh, the G3. Uh, but for me, as, as a guy that really, really enjoys. Uh, a huge display uh, and a quality experience having this phone in my hand uh, I mean the G3 is definitely the, the winner I mean overall it's such an amazing device and the experience when you're holding the device uh, and those things is just like awesome so um, uh, I'm probably gonna do more videos like this you know browser Samsung's own browser and uh, LG's browser and in terms of multitasking, of course, you can see here you have a multitasking button here. Here you have swipe up and down. Here you can see cards that you can swipe and it's nine cards that you can see. So you can actually see more apps on this display uh, and they close them, which is very, very nice. Of course, you have a clear all on both devices, which is also very, very nice. You also have a um, dual window. I'm not sure if it was, it's a web on this one. I know it's a web on Samsung's Note series because I have that as a main device. Uh, but yeah, it's a quick little video here. I definitely probably will do more videos. I already started to do some gaming videos. Uh, but for me, it's very, very clear which one is the winner and which one I would go with. And that's definitely the, uh, the LG G3. So have an awesome day.